Keep the set. We'll have the full set. So you asked me kind of what I had learned between rounds. Yes. I took a spin, just kind of looking around. Um, there's a lot of boba in the field, as you would expect. I've mm -hmm. seen green, yellow, and blue. Uh, there's a lot of Kira in the field. There's a little bit of Ray. Hilariously, a little bit of Tarkin and a little bit of Bosk. I'm excited about Bosk. I am excited about Bosk. So James the, has been on Bosk Red for a long time. So I, I, were you here last week for the draft? I was not. So I, I cannot beat James. Just, just okay. straight up. I, I, I'm pretty good at the game. I can't beat him. And he beats me with that boss deck every time. And that's all he ever brings. And then we'll go to a draft. And somehow he ends up with, ends up with Bosk and drafts like the best boss deck every single time. So I've been playing James for months. And all he ever <laughs> plays is Bosk, no matter whether you play Constructed <laughs> or Draft. And then he beats me every time. I have played Draft Bosk, and it's crazy good. Because nobody takes the, the stuff that goes in at it. So yeah. you just get like a construct, Constructed. Right. I missed how Desmond cleared the Smuggler. He played a card, obviously. I don't see a discard file. It is. It's, it's way off the screen. Oh, there it is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go bug him and be like, Jump stop back. that. Let's rewind it for everyone. All right. Let's pay attention to, to this game. It's marked on the mat, Desmond. Oh, make way. Fair enough. That's how you kill a guy with a shield immediately. Yeah. That's one way to deal with his shield. Oh, and trench. Okay. Ooh. That is a big bad man right there. Indeed. So Desmond entrenches. Okay. He entrenched the Phantom. The Phantom. And then Which you can do. You just can't hit him with correct. damage. Correct. And then Philip comes in with a cunning to pull his own Phantom back, to gets rid of the him. entrenched, mm -hmm. and makes Desmond discard a card. Hmm? Somehow. I'm Strong play on. by Double Yellow. I'm sure it is just known which one of these is better than the other one. Like, if you play at competitive levels, you know the yellow boba beats blue boba or vice versa. You think so? I, I think so. I'm, I'm less convinced. I but, mean, there's probably... The way I look at this game is there's matchups you're favored in or not. But in theory, anything can technically beat anything given the right draw or the right sequence of events. Mostly. but I, And then that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Obviously, you have to play it out. But when I say this beats this, that means 60-40, 70-30, whatever right, it right, is. Right, 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 right. So, but all I'm pointing out is that is Boba is so overpowered, I won't even look at it. So right. I have no idea what this I, matchup is like. The one time I played Boba in a store championship, I played Boba Yellow. And the one game that I lost, the one – match that I lost yeah. was one that I should have, to use your methodology, statistically lost, right? Yeah. Which is, uh, I played Boba Green, and yep, I lost. Hey, look at that. It's both Bobas on the board. Although I, I think Philip has an edge right now, because he's going to get the untap, because he can just crash into Greedo. Or, that's how you do it. Yep. Just gets rid of Greedo one way or another. It does, but not, well, I guess he's going to attack and get the. Oh, now we're now we're Surprise swapping attack and trade. Greedos, and he gets the untap. I'm not Greedos, Bobas. Desmond no play that round. Interesting. Hmm. Both Bobas on the board. And then, literally, just as fast, both Bobas off the board. Hmm. 
So I'm guessing Philip feels like his deck is going to outperform Desmond's deck. And Desmond wanted his Boba to stay alive. Got a frozen huh. in Carbonite to lock out the Phantom. I love that card. I love so much yellow stuff. Uh huh. Then we got Bodie Rook. Hello, Wow Zanda. I don't know those names, so I'm not sure who that is, but they're very excited to say hi, Trey, recently. Well, they've seen you on the stream before. Oh, right on. Both players attacking each other's hand this round. Bodie for Philip and Bazine for Desmond. I think Bazine didn't find it. Oh, I that love, was spicy. I love that play. All right, so if, I guess we have a lot of people watching that don't know exactly what happened. The dude on the right, like the unit on the right, when you play him, he lets you look at your opponent's hand and take a card out. That's and not a unit. That's not a unit. But then he played this card on the screen to basically pick him up and play him again immediately and get the take another non-unit out of your hand. So shred your hand. Everybody's favorite part of TCGs is when you have mm -hmm. your hand ripped apart and you yep. don't get to play the game. Desmond's on the button. He comes in with a takedown to get rid of Bodie for good. Well, hmm. that copy of Bodie. There are two more lurking somewhere. Probably. Smush. He's going to bounce his own phantom to get rid of the frozen and carbonite. I like this. Philip is doing well. Yeah. Bobby, double yellow, Boba yellow has so many crazy tricks. Mm -hmm. It's fun. You have a lot of tactical options with the cards you draw. Well, like, and if you play cards in your deck that say murder that guy, okay, mm -hmm. they're only going to work against your opponent. And if you play cards mm -hmm. that say make a guy better, you're only going to play them on yours. Mm -hmm. But when you have a bounce card, it's situational where you get to make that evaluation. Yeah. Do I need to slow them down or what do I need to help my own guys? Exactly. So pretty cool. I did, I'm curious about that. I guess he didn't want him to bounce him and playing again. But mm -hmm. So he ran the 3-5 on the right. In no, the no. Bazine. Bazine attacked. Bazine attacked. Bazine attacked. Oh, he's going to... He, then why did he so he has the Cloud Rider, Rider which just smashes immediately into a dude mm -hmm. to clear him. But I don't know why the Cloud Rider smashing into the guy that he smashed into didn't make him within Cloud Rider range. I'm curious about that. Hmm. Unless he's setting up something later, but I don't, I don't know what does four damage. One of the things I'm curious about a typical Boba Yellow deck curves out around six, right? Typically, the largest thing it plays is a Fire Spray. Okay. But Boba Blue, you've got access to, well... Avenger? Avenger, or Snoke, or whatever kind of craziness you want to bring out of Villain Blue. Right. Coming in with a Child Sun. With no blue with cards nothing. To, to reveals. Yep. Oof. Wow. Oh my God! That bounce. Oof. I love bounce so much. Feels like it's starting to get away from Desmond a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you know what else is in villain blue? <laughs> Super laser blast. I I have uh, I have heard this rumor. Yes. Kill all your guys. Well, except the Phantom. Uh, hang on a minute. Phantom blocks damage, but oh. does it block kills? It does. Captured damage or defeated. You're correct. Look at that. Oh, God. Take your hand. Bounce your guy. Well, at this point, he looked for Bodhi. He looked with Bodhi again, but there's all units, so. Okay. So... All that does is tell you you have nothing to be afraid of. At that moment, but he's about to draw cards. 
soon as I can't do anything about it, I know you're going to But even it. missing with Bodie is fine. I mean, he's in very much the pole position right here. Right. He's got a board. He's got a health lead. Okay, get rid of one of those guys at least. There is a lot of murder in blue. Childson again. He's got another Childson in hand. So he's got a three-three Sentinel. I'm surprised about that at attack. On from Philip, I think I would have uh, hit the base with the Bodhi, just because you have the one extra health to play with, mm -hmm. with the other guy. Uh, Getting dire for Desmond here. I, I don't know how he gets off the mat. He doesn't. Yeah. He, he scoops up yeah. and goes to game two. He scoops up and goes to game two. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder what – do we have their deck list? Um, I do not. Uh, so I wonder what Desmond sides in this match. If this match goes as quick as it looks like it might, I'll spend the next break working on deck – getting deck list in here. Okay. Because I'll probably have some time. Yeah. Last time I was focused on getting food. Just don't care about your viewers. Um, I care about being <laughs> conscious and able to do the job first. It's nice to have people that know the game and know their mm -hmm. deck uh, play because mm -hmm. they just go and there's not a lot of hes hesitation. Mm -hmm. But it also makes it difficult to be like, wait, what just happened? Yes. And then the next three things have already happened. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Chat's asking me if there's a chance that I might set all of this up at, and let, like, you or you and Matt or come in here and do commentary while I go play at some point in the future. We would put you on stream every match. I know. And just mock you and really mock you. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Be like, oh, it's still be fun, though. totally the wrong play. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Have you ever watched uh, the guy on YouTube named uh, Uncle Roger? No. Do a YouTube search sometime for Uncle Roger. Okay. This is a – I think he's a British comedian, but he's Asian, Asian descent. And he mercilessly mocks people who try to cook Asian food, like Westerners who try to cook Asian okay. food. Okay. Because most of them do really badly. Uh, and it's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. But he look. has this thing where he – anytime he gets upset – watching these videos he goes hi -ya! right <laughs> so i could just see you guys sitting here looking over my shoulder going hi -ya! <laughs> don't do that so to answer the question it would be difficult because there's all this equipment in here with buttons you have to hit to, like every time you see a card flip up on the screen it's because wes is like has a little pad in front of him where he's just manipulating to make the card come up or mm -hmm. reset a name or change but, the base health but so he would I have could, to teach Matt or I, how to do it, and then trust us, I, which I wouldn't do. So, <laughs> I could teach you, right? Like, you don't need to know how the setup works to know that pushing the buttons does what they do. <laughs> I could teach you how to push buttons. What's, what's the line from Argo? I could teach a rhesus monkey how to be a director. <laughs> right? So Desmond lost the first round mm -hmm. to another, I believe it was, no, it was Bubba Green. I said that earlier. But he lost to another I Bubba. I saw some of that game, yeah. And now he's losing to Bubba Yellow. <laughs> and if you look at Desmond and think this guy's lost three games in a row, mm -hmm. he, you can see the why am I here today <laughs> on his face, which I've had on my face many times. I, I understand. I have seen that expression on your face. Yeah. I have seen that expression. It usually looks more murdery when it's on my it face. It is. Well, like we discussed several weeks ago, right? You, you kind of have that resting, I look like I'm going to murder people expression. <laughs> Bazine coming in. He got tired of Bodhi. Doesn't want to see that. 
And he gets a random card off of it. Maybe it was better. Hey, that looks familiar. I don't know what you're going to get rid of. Make an opening, yeah. That's a real easy card to just murder those phantoms. The phantoms, and then to a lesser extent, the crafty guys, the shielded tutus. Oh, yeah, the crafty smugglers. One of the frustrations I have, and we talked about this a little bit at the top of the stream, is that Boba is so good, he drowns out all of the other villain yellow yeah. uh, leaders. I just this, throughout this so far, I've been talking about this. There's just like one little piece of various cards that make them not worth playing. On Boba, it goes the other way. Like right. Boba's abilities are all interesting and useful. He's not. He's not overpowered when it comes to, like, stats or what he does. He just comes out too early. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like one little piece. You change it's, the five to a six on the card, mm -hmm. and then it's great. I, I agree. I, Like I said, I'm going to do a video soon, I think, on my channel about, um, you know, it's time. It's time we nerfed Boba Fett. Boba Fett. It's time. All right. So we came in with another Bodie again. Gonna lock him down. What well, just? Bodhi came in and then he got uh, immediately slammed into a block of carbonite. I think one of the struggles Desmond is having here is all of his not all of it, but a lot of his removal stays on the board. Right. And okay, you play Philip the guy. Philip can bounce it. I knocked it down, but it's still there. So Philip can bounce it back. He can bounce it, and now I. I'm yeah. slower, but I still get. But I get to use him again. Like the mm -hmm. rip a card out of your hand gets used again, mm -hmm. and then he's back in attacking. Yeah, which is kind of where we ended up last time. In the last game, he just kind of bounced a few guys, mm -hmm. and then then those guys came back, and that Desmond was out of cards to deal with them. Huh? The old blackies. Wow. Just okay. smashing there. I guess he has a. Make a hole or whatever it is left. He didn't have the he didn't have the resources for uh, make an opening. No, Can but he he'll have, he'll set it up is. next time. Oh, it's another smuggler. Okay. Oh. Bum, Just bum, 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 bum. bam. Yeah. Boba comes out. You can see in his movements, Desmond is snapping up that away. thing and moving over. You know. It's not. This is frustrating. It is, but my point is, when you play it, everybody, okay, except you, everybody has played Bobo, and which means that sooner or later everybody has played against Bobo, which means that you basically have to have a plan for what you're going to do against Bobo when you sit down to play any deck in the game. You're going to see him, mm -hmm. and a lot of players. I do this, like you draw into an early overwhelming barrage or surprise strike like that, you'll just sit on it. You know the Boba flip turn is coming, and mm -hmm. you're just waiting to murder him. Mm -hmm. Now he's bringing something back. Looks like he grabbed the making opening is what he said. Okay. For all the trading... Nobody has done any damage to their well, opponent's base for yet. position. Yeah. In a minute, Philip's going to bounce the Bodhi Rook, and then he's going to come back down, mm -hmm. and he's going to be ready to attack, and he's going to rip a card out of Desmond's hands, mm -hmm. or he's going to find that there's nothing worth mm -hmm. ripping out of Desmond's hands. And then that's when the advantage engine starts incrementing up on mm -hmm. Philip's side. So I, would, I really want to see what Desmond's going to do to overcome that. Desmond claims Philip has all his resources left, so he can just do whatever he wants here. Probably a fire spray? Yeah. And there is our first base damage of the game. 
Do we know how many cards are in hand for Desmond? Like, what's he got left? It's difficult. I, one of the points that I make, uh, I've made little signs for the table this time, and mm -hmm. I tell people, if it's over the edge of the mat, we're going to see it on camera. Okay. So if you want to play with your hand out there, that's on you. If you don't, mm -hmm. that's fine, too. He's got, so if you look in where it shows his picture down right. there, he's, he's shuffling got, through cards. He's got four or five, I think. There's a hand there. He's got a hand. Four or four. It looks like a fell the dragon. Yep. It's the boba on tap. Mm hmm. Desmond's deck so far seems really good at keeping units off the board. <laughs> at not dying. Well, right, but I haven't figured out how he wins yet. He can't get yeah, anything to saying. stick long enough to do damage. He just he just kills all your stuff and then eventually runs out of gas and dies. Okay. <laughs> but we'll see. That's what we want to see. I mean, I wonder if he has some some giants buried in there somewhere, an Avenger or a snow. I bet he has a Snoke. He does, uh, I think. He just came into a, a Chilson, and I think he has a Snoke and a Super Laser Blast in his hand. He just showed his hand. Uh, there we go. Um, Initiative change. He showed two cards out of his hand. I don't know how many mm -hmm. cards are in his hand. One of them, I'm almost positive, is a Super Laser Blast that he drew when... Um, oh, off of Bazine? Off of, uh, yes, off of Bazine. So to answer the chat, Cabot would be tough to build a deck that just cuts the legs out from the end of the opponent because they, they get to keep playing cards. And so like in a, in a blue deck that has really powerful top-end cards, you spend all your time kind of nerfing what they've got out and what they've got going on, and then they just, okay, great. Now they slap down something that's huge that you didn't have the cards An to An answer nerf. for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Desmond willing to eat one damage his base Bing. to get initiative. Just trying to build a hand of tools to work with, I think. The way that type of deck, that nerf deck you're talking about, normally works is you spend your early game kind of wiping out everything they do, and then you get to when you have a lot more resources and you can play a lot more powerful stuff, you run your opponent out of gas, they have like an aggressive deck trying to kill you, and then you play control, you control their side of the board, you kill everything they play, and then they run out of cards in hand and you slap down the big card. Desmond's just passing here, waiting for Philip to do something. Are we super laser blasting? Well, I think he's just... Okay, so now he'll come <laughs> in with that make an opening. There we go. I wonder if he was baiting that out. Did he not put him on that? I mean, he, Philip might have remembered it was in there. He pulled it out of his discard pile earlier. Okay, so he knew it was there. That's a strong card to mm -hmm. do that with. So for those of you not knowing the cards, the one on the right, Philip's card that got played, it has some text on it that says, you're basically your opponent can't kill this, damage it, or something else, be mean to it. Mm -hmm. And one of the only ways to deal with it is that card that Desmond just played. It doesn't kill it. It just shrinks all of his stats. So right. minus two, minus two becomes zero, zero. And then the game itself kills it because he has a zero health. Yeah. Which is different than having two health with two damage on you because then the damage would kill it. Now, Desmond didn't heal his base off of the make an opening. And now he bounces it. Now a so he just played a card that... There you go. Yeah. So that blue card would have healed Desmond's base when he killed the guy. Right. So Desmond started here with a top target. That's not the right card. Sorry. Which I love that card, by the way, because, you know, yep. steal somebody's stuff yep. and beat them with it. Yep. And now we so got the super laser blast. At this point, I'm not going to bother showing what happened. <laughs> <laughs> we had In the, the end result was everybody died. Everybody died. 
So Desmond forced a lot of cards out of Phillip's hand. Uh, in doing so, it cost him a bunch of cards because when Phillip played a card that let him pick up his own card, some of Desmond's cards were on that guy, and it, those just kind of went away and got discarded. And to get to that point, then Desmond plays a card that says just murder everything on the board. Yep. Board reset. Let's try again. Here we go. So we're definitely now getting into a range where these blue villain decks mm -hmm. start to get to their tools. Right. Snoke, Avenger, Super Laser Blast, which we just saw. Which we didn't see last time. No. Because Philip was able to just bounce, move, right. replay. In, in card games, it's called tempo. Right. Um, and then he was able to get it before Desmond played the blue cards that are the, you know, the big smash, you know, windmill okay. slam onto the table. Because I won. So Desmond coming in with the Bounty Honey crew, taking a vigilant, uh, Vigilance out of his discard pile. <laughs> now having the resources if he wants to play Vigilance in the stir. Mm. Looks like he's going to. Uh, no. Nope. Wrong card. Oops. Other card. I hate it when I do There that. we go. So that's a card that has like four different choices on it. Mm -hmm. Pick two. If you ever play Magic, it's, it's similar to the command cards. So Desmond healing five and milling six off of Phillip's deck. One hey, of the look, things about... It's a Bodhi Rook. One of the things about this game, when you run out of cards, you don't just lose the game. Mm -hmm. But if you would draw, if you would have to draw a card and you can't, you base gets hit for some damage. Yes. So that's one way that you can win as Desmond, just murdering everything that comes across the table. Yep. It just kind of nothing ever kills you, and then your opponent's base runs out of cards, and he starts taking damage. Right. Mill is not a fully developed strategy in the game, I don't think. Huh. I see the question. <laughs> so the I, I don't know exactly what you're asking. I mean, I, I see what you're asking, but there are a couple of different ways to answer it, so I'll just give them all. Um, the face-down cards are the resources. So in, it's very similar to Lorcana. In Magic, you would play your land face-up. In this game, it's, it's any card in your deck goes face-down to be a land, and you play one per turn. But the psychology of how to play them in front of you it's kind of a window into how your mind works. So if you look at Philip, he's got two piles of four because he's expecting to kind of grab those all at once and turn them. Uh, Desmond has them is in piles of two to help him keep track of how many there are. This is the first time I've ever seen Tobias Beckett on the table. Yeah, never seen that before. I look at him all the time. Mm -hmm. His ability is kind of bad. He's not great. But... He's still a four five for four, which He's, is and with not, smuggle, with smuggle. I didn't yeah. even I, I missed that. Yeah. Ooh, unit boba. So he has to have boba's armor in there somewhere. I mean, if you're gonna play boba yellow, you probably do. I don't know why you wouldn't. Ooh, surprise strike on the phantom. That's a big hit. And so in the seven, in the first match, we had kind of a similar thing where there was a big fight on the ground and one person got out one space unit that just kind of mm -hmm. went bing, 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 and mm -hmm. until it did a lot of damage. It kind of feels like that's where we are now, but the, the that card does a lot more damage. Yeah. The Phantoms are amazingly good, especially in Phillip's deck. That's a lot. Thirteen. And then he can he still missed. use he can Tobias. Still, he should have used. 
So Tobias has an ability that when you play an event, you can tap something down so that it can't attack. So when he played that event yep. to kill the guy, yep. he should have tapped something down. Did he tap yep. something down? Did he tap the lurking phantom? He did. Okay. Couldn't tell if that was reaching over to attack with it or reaching over because cause Desmond said, tap that guy. He's smuggling something else. Another one. I'm, ooh. Get rid of your well carbonite frozen thing. So he overrides his own unit, which gets rid of the... Uh, so if, if you look up there where it says Tobias Beckett, the little diamond to the left of it, that means it's a unique unit because it's, it's somebody's name, and you can't have two Tobias Becketts in the world. So you play one. If you already have one out, you have to pick one, and the other one goes away. Or pick one to go away. Ah, I missed one. He's actually, he used the cunning to pump Greedo by four. So it's 19 damage now on Desmond's base. Desmond's trying. Philip's got two cards in his hand. Desmond's only got two as well. We're gonna, that guy's about to go down. Oh, he's going he's he's to get frozen freeze. in carbonite. Yep. <laughs> All right, so what did I miss? Okay. He played Frozen, which then exhausted Greedo. Okay. And then Cloud Rider swung him for three. So now Tobias is going to knock off somebody. There we go. So I'll give more information about the face-down cards after the game is over. We have a little bit of time to talk. And don't worry about the words you used. I miscommunicate. And you didn't really Probably miscommunicate. Fall. But, yeah, words are hard. I do feel privileged to have seen Tobias Beckett tap some things down. <laughs> His ability, I think, is, I guess now that I see it, I feel like it's a little underrated. It's a tempo-y thing. It is. Well, at some point, Desmond has to hit people. I mean, hit, hit the base. Yeah, you would think. We talked about this last game. Like, he's, his deck is amazing at getting rid of units, but then what? Right. Going to knock off Greedo with Tobias. And another Bodhi coming out. This hand disruption is brutal. Yeah. Well, it's, it's one of the best ways to deal with control decks. Yeah. Discarding the Entrench, leaving him with a F Fell the Dragon. And nothing, nothing Fell the Dragon do. can kill. Yeah, nothing he can kill. At this point, Desmond is, runs the risk of just getting plinked to death by all these little units. But oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't see how he gets out of this now. I mean, Phillip's down to – his draw deck's pretty thin over there. But Phillip – I mean, a Desmond would have to hang on, hang on for two or three more rounds for it to matter. Okay. Power of the dark side. Where is it? 24? So he's got to do six? Mm-hmm. So Desmond has to also kill another guy in a minute. Yeah. And that's just to live. To, to not die immediately. Yeah, they're both three attack. So this is where I would, I would hit with Bodhi Rook in case you need to attack something else with the 3-5. With the Twenty-seven. Three damage away. The other guy on the board wins the match for Philip, unless Desmond does something. Avenger? No. Vigilance. Vigilance. Okay. This will do it. Kill that guy. Oh, no, he can't. He can heal. He can heal. One, two, three, four, five, and he's going to mill six. Is Vigilance four or less? 
four, four life. Uh, it's five or less. It's less than five. Less than five. Okay, so it's yeah. four or less. Yeah. Because there's no four and a half. Right. <laughs> Keeps Desmond in the game. But he still just hasn't delayed done it. a single point of damage. Yeah. It's just slower. And then now. Play it again. Get rid of the fellow dragon. dragon. Okay. So similar trick to what we saw in game one. New adventure bounces Bodhi Rook. Three. Comes he plays, in for three He's going to play the Larking Phantom over there on the right in a moment. Probably. I mean, I would. Or. Nope. Bounty Hunter. Uh, Bounty Hunter crew. This leaves him open to Super Laser Blast. He's going to grab a Cunning. So cunning is the the yellow card, the yellow counterpart to, to the blue Vigilance. To Vigilance. Mm -hmm. And the yellow one has four things on it that you Philip, pick. If I'm looking at that right, he only has about two cards left in that deck. Oh, I think that's one. Might be one. It's one yeah, or two. Yeah, yeah, I mean, No a, more than two. A Super Laser Blast right now might might do it. Well, Death is on the button. It's his action. He's got to do something. Four, six. Uh, He's going to heal okay. for five more. Guild Bodhi instead of the four. That means mm. he has something else he wants to play. Otherwise, he'd kill the four. Okay. Going to play Cunning. He boosted somebody. And, but he's okay. So there's scooping at that point. Oh, yeah. He's got lethal on the board, right? Yeah, and well, he didn't have anything left. Yep, there it was filled with the sweep. Yeah, wow. Uh, I was wondering if you also so to talk about the face down cards real quick, which <laughs> is what the question was. So, the way these games work, or most of these games work, there has to be a some cards have a power of two on a scale of 10, and some have a power of eight 